in this video, we're going to show you how to do these darling gingerbread boys that hug a jar. And they can hug different size jars depending on how many little gingerbread you put together. I hope you enjoy this video. It's simple and I think it will help you. Pattern is $2 on our website. Xerox your pattern. We're doing three colors of brown and each color needs a third of a yard. And so each color will have two. So you need two tummies, two heads, two bodies, and it should fit easily on two pieces of fabric that are right side together and thin polyester bottom batting. Then you're gonna sew on the solid line, cut on the outside dash line, and we're gonna do go all the way around. And I'm gonna show you how we're going to turn it and put it together. Okay, these guys are turned. We did a slit through one layer of fabric, and this can actually be pretty long for turning all these appendages. It's fine, it will all be covered. And then the back of the body is also slit one layer, and the head is also slit one layer, and you wanna slit it down towards the bottom. And then you're gonna stuff it. Um, I like to just stuff a little bit up in the hands up here, making sure you get your thumbs and leave this kind of floppy and thin, and then the feet the same. Just stuff it up to here. Then the bodies, I stuff in the heads. What I do, I don't go real tight, I do it firm, and then what I like to do is press it with a hot iron, and it just makes it smooth, and it makes the edges smooth with that batting, I don't know why, but it works really cool. Then you're going to whip stitch the opening closed, and then you're gonna take your pattern piece for your arm, and this is really important that you mark the exact angle on both of your arms. And this guy, he really looks kind of funny. He looks like a big monkey, but he does work. It's just funny. Okay, then we're gonna embellish him and sew him together on the arms. And with Rick Rack, we're gonna um, just singe the edges so that it doesn't unravel. I put buttons for his tummy and here you can see how it's closed and the neck comes up and covers the opening on the head and then that's um, tacked together. I like to tack it up under a little bit, not on the edge because it's so dimensional that the threads will pull and they'll show. So if you pull back a little bit and stitch it uh, right where it meets the um, fabric, it works great. And then I glued the googly eyes buttons and then I'm going to again blind stitch his little body right there. And then the two arms, once they're sewn together, they fold back so that he's just gobbling down this candy cane. It's just so funny. Anyway, we'll show you what he looks like when all six are put together. I think you'll have fun with this. It's not hard. Um, the other trick is to sew with a smaller stitch length so you can make the shapes easier. And we'll show you what he looks like finished. Okay, here they are finished. Aren't they cute? You just tack their little arms together and they're just gobbling down these little candy canes. They work around different size jars depending on how many little gingerbread men you do. So you can do a mason jar. You don't have to get a fancy jar and they just turn out absolutely adorable. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you.